Hi, um, what I've done is I've, I've started the cookie shop now um, so I'd like to do a demonstration on the um, uh, cooker that I've got. It's like a, mi a mini cooker, it's a buffalo cooker, um, it's absolutely fantastic. It's one of the best things in over 30 years that I've, I've been in catering. I've found to be the, you know, the best home things. Um, what, I've, what I've done is I've got it in a box like that so you get it in a, in a big cardboard box and I've, I've just chucked it out like that and it comes with the lid so you need to get yourself a screwdriver you know, a Phillips one, you get a little screw like that and you start with the lid so what you do, that goes on there like that yeah and then just put the screw to one side and put that there like that make sure the washer's on the screw and then just sort of keep hold of the screw and then just get the lid and just twist it onto the screw like that. I'm showing you step by step so it's, it's fairly straightforward. Once I've got the screw there. That's it. Make sure it sits in the recess properly like that. Just nip it up like that. It's on the washer and then just tighten it a little bit. Just with a screwdriver like that. That's it, that's spot on, and then you've got your nice lid, and that's perfect that. So, you've done that. The next thing is, you get a booklet like that, that explains all about the, uh, the appliance. It's 40 millimeters deep, this one, and there's also a 90 millimeter deep. The 40 millimeter deep gives you about, up to about 10 portions, uh, which you'll see. So the next thing is, we'll get it out of the polystyrene like this. out the wrapper and that's what it looks like in there like that and because it's brand new I like to get a little wipe out and dry it so I'll give it a wipe out I've just got a funny thing about cooking straight away new things you know so they so they're okay to cook in you know you can give it a good wash if you want but if you wipe it like that just to start with that's great. Now if you have a look there, there's the two prongs, the electrical prongs there like that, yeah? Now, you get the, the plug like that, which has a tie on it, there. If you want to come closer the, for some of these things to have a closer look, just pull that to one side, make sure it doesn't win the food, and make sure you take this card off the, and there was a plastic thing on the plug. So take that off, and then Make sure that goes right in the middle like that. That's it. It has to go in right in the middle and slot in like that so it's nice and flush on the edge there like that. Right? And then it's, it's ideal, if you're working on the kitchen side, in your kitchen, you just plug it in, it's not a problem. Uh, but I'm doing it, I'm demonstrating for you. So I've got an extension lead. So if you were to do it on a kitchen table, like a kitchen table like this, uh, or your dining room table, or you were camping, say for example, if you were camping, you need an extension lead so you can plug it in like that. Right, so that's plugged in, we're ready to go. So what you do now is you just set the thermostat so it comes on a little bit. So that was on full when you got it, so make sure it's not, it's not on straight away. So you can smell it a little bit now. So I'm just going to put it on a little bit like that. Get it nice and hot. Cooks very, very quick. So you only, you only need it on a low setting, right? Now the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is a, pan, um, a pancake. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil in there like that. And when you're using these things, use wood, like that, just go around like that, or now this is just for a pancake, just go around the middle like that. So we'll get that nice and warm, or you use plastic, like that, yeah? So you're using plastic or using wood. What you don't use 
is don't use metal like this because that will scrape all the Teflon off don't use any metal, stainless steel or anything like that and no abrasive scrubbers like that don't, don't scrub it with anything like that right? because that's an abrasive scrubber I'll show you how to clean it after we've done so uh, now we've got that out of the way I've put an egg and a bit in there in the pancake mix with about half a pint of milk and a little bit of flour about a good handful of flour mix list it all in so you've got a nice uh, like consistency like that just turn it up a little bit more if you notice when it comes to the right temperature a little light comes on there and um, that's like your thermostat that goes off but you don't need it on a high setting this cooks you know very very quick uh, and if it's if it's bubbling away and it's cooking quite fast turn it down remember you've got the, the lid to help things cook faster uh, so that that will help you cook you know cook all your food much quicker so I can see the heat there now that's doing really good so I'm just going to put a little bit of pancake mix in there now no more than half a ladle full like that now rather than use a, a, a pancake pan I'm just showing you the versatility of this cooker this is why I, I like this cooker because unlike a wok this one's flat so uh, with it being flat you know you can cook pancakes you can do omelets you can do stir fries you can do curries you can do soups you can do stews it's very lightweight you can pick it up you can take it you know in a caravan you can take it camping and um, you can do it on your dining room table you can take the plug out like that pick the dish up put it in the middle of the table and serve your paella from it or serve your curry from it or serve whatever it is you want to do from it so you can see that there now the pancakes cooking bit by bit you can move it around a little bit like that even though it's not a, actually a pan you know you're doing a crepe which is what a pancake is called you can move it around like that and it's cooking away nicely there so that's all you're waiting for with a crepe you're waiting for it drying out on the top and that's, you know, that's all you want to do after this I'm going to show you how to make an omelette see it's a great thing electricity I've, not, I've got a, cooker, a gas cooker there behind I'm going to show you how to make a, a chicken biryani in a minute that's what these ingredients are for uh, and you probably wondered that won't you? what's all that food doing there but this is what I want to do I want to show you how to make a couple of different things just so that you can see what this, what this cooker is about it retails um, on my website normally it's 60, about £67 on, on different sites uh, but on my website it's going to sell for £49 and included in the £49 I'm going to give you a, a free uh, cookie tips PDF which is basically it's a book on how to, how to save uh, loads of money so look at that now look so the the cookie tips book is worth five pound that's selling on the website for five pound so um, you get that free week you know, by buying this cooker so you can have a look at it like that look what you, what you want to do is you want to brown it and get it really nice one thing I love is pancakes and it's great uh, for kids but imagine being sat in a field Imagine all of you sat around and um, and you're just talking and you've got this plugged in, you know, and and the way it's going like this, and you can just sort of, you know, get your get your crepe like that. If it doesn't brown off too quick, just turn it up a little bit. Because the thing with when you do a pancake, you've got very intense heat. You've got a good conductor. So um, that, that's why with this, I'm just going to flip it over. You can use your spatula if you want. I've just flipped it over. But like I say, you want you want it to go all nice and golden brown like that. But you can see, you know, that it's actually it's actually doing a pancake quite easily, you know, uh, without any trouble. You're there in your field. You've made 
you know, you mix up with a bit of a plastic bowl like that, and you, there's your pancake. That pancake's nearly ready to eat. You can't flip it like a normal pan. You can't start going like that because it's plugged in. So don't do anything like that. Obviously, don't have you know, don't have it out in the rain or anything like that because it's electricity. Um, you could you know, you could cook under covers as long as it's not raining um, or there's no water, you know, water dripping on it. Electricity and water don't mix, so remember that. So make sure you, you know you've unplugged it and make sure it's cooled down. You know the um, the dish when you put it on the on a, a tray. Line. See how easy that fits under like that. So we're flipping it over there like that. Look. See, that's looking like a pancake. Get a little pat like that. I mean, if you wanted to make a, a chapati or flatbread or something like that. You know, you get your, your flour and water, put a bit of baking powder in it or a bit of yeast and uh, some sun-dried tomatoes or mixed herbs or something like that, a bit of olive oil in it. Get it into a nice dough and flatten it out, roll it out. You can get a nice flatbread out of this. So, there we go. There's a pancake. So... Quite happy with that. So a nice little pancake there. So we'll have that later. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it warm. Again, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in again. Not much, just a tiny bit. It's not olive oil, it's just a bit of just normal vegetable oil. Just a little bit like that. Now with an omelette, Best thing to do is beat up three eggs with a bit of salt and pepper. Beat it up with a fork, like that. You've got the pan nice and hot. So what you're doing is you're moving it around a little bit like that. Just move it around. Sort of bring it in like that, keep bringing it into the middle, like that, like that, yeah. It's going to want to escape, but don't worry about any of that, just keep bringing it in. That's it, keep moving it into the middle. We'll soon have a nice little omelette, and there's going to be a little purpose for this omelette as well. It's not just going to be put to one side and not used. Can have, actually have a purpose, which I'll show you in a bit. So it's no problem just bringing it to the middle like that. If it's still a bit runny there, just move it all out again. Like that. Look how fast that cooks up. One thing I love that is an omelette. Just as your omelette is about to cook and set, which it soon will, remember you can turn it up or down like that. Just give it a few minutes there. And you don't want it too gooey in the middle, but you don't want it rubbery and hard. Now the French style of omelette is where it is a little bit soft in the middle like that because when you fold it over it, ca it just carries on cooking in the middle um, so this is a French style of omelette if you wanted to put something in there now um, you could quite easily add your cheese or whatever um, so there's our nice pancake there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold that over like that looking like an omelette yeah I'm just gonna brown it on the other side a little bit just before I flip it out so let's just see if we've got another spatula oh yeah here we go 
Now what we were saying before about the plastic spatulas, you want one like that. That's perfect for this type of thing and you can quite easily sort of play around with it. Now how good's that? That's a lovely omelette there. Now before it gets too carried away and carries on getting too red hot, remember you've got a control on it. And on your control, you just turn it off. It's simple. That's off now. Right? And there you've got a lovely omelette. Like that. Yeah? No problem. You could have had your cheese, your mushrooms, whatever inside of it. All you do with that then, go down like that, all the way around, like that, the bits. I'm just getting the bin. I'm going to put that back over there. I'm just going to put a bit of sitting here for now. Give it yourself a little tub or something. Just to scrape everything out. And then you've got a choice between using like a dry tea towel, which I said to a lot of people use something like that, or a bit of kitchen roll. Uh, most kitchens have a, a bit of kitchen roll like that. So you can dry it out like that, so you're back to smooth again. Or you've got yourself a nice clean tea towel, not a dirty one, to give it a wipe out like that. Or a nice clean dry cloth that doesn't lose anything. So we're back to clean again. The thing's spotless again, we're back for cooking again. So how do we start next? The next thing is we're doing a meal now. Now this is a biryani. So again, a little bit of oil, like that. I'm going to turn this on like that. I'm going to start with the onions. So you can hear it sizzling, like that, which is great. So on here we've got onions, chopped onions. I'll just pull the mushrooms out for a minute. So just bring the camera over here a minute and go quite in close. Um, because while I'm doing this, you might as well learn how to make a biryani. You know, this, this type of biryani. I've got some chopped cabbage, I've got some chopped tomatoes, some chopped mushrooms. I've got some garlic uh, that I've just put in here uh, that, that's gone in there a little bit. Some garlic, oh there it is. Garlic there, look. I've got some uh, red broccoli there. I've got some coriander. Uh, I've got stock cubes there. And that's, you know, that's a bit of chopped coriander there, yeah. So cabbage, tomatoes, mushrooms, onions, garlic, red broccoli, chopped coriander, oh, and some finely chopped chilli here uh, to give it a little bit of zing, a little bit of spice, uh, which is nice in Bariani. Uh, and we've got a few other bits and bobs over there, some curry powder and stuff like that. Right, so let's get that in. Let's get the cabbage in. Remember I've started off with a little bit of oil. Yeah, it sits in the way there, which is great. The garlic, which is part of the onion family, you get that in as well. Back to the wooden spoon again. Sometimes I love a belly on it. Now what I've done is, is I've cooked I cook the rice before. So the rice is nice and fluffy, so you get the rice ready. So we're going to let it cook, like that. Just a touch more oil. Now remember, your lid will have it cook faster. Your lid that's on nice and tight. So that'll cook a bit quicker. And while that's cooking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crumble up some stock cube in a bowl. Now just while that's cooking, I want to explain a little bit to you about equipment. The equipment I'm going to be selling on the website, I've been, I've been in catering for over 30 years and I can tell you, you can get through loads of Mickey Mouse equipment. But if you want good stuff, um, that's all I'm going to be selling. I'm only going to be selling really, really good quality stuff. 
um, and you know it's things like this I've got a chopping board there look how thick it is right it's a good solid board a lovely board if you're at home I'd say have a good wooden board like that and have a small plastic board um, something like this that board there is going to be about £35 plus post and package on the internet uh, and I would say you know, a plastic board like that another alternative what you're going to be able to buy is boards like that, different coloured ones it's up to yourselves, these are quite flimsy so I prefer like a good a good plastic board you, mean, you can get them coloured if you want uh, but I love them wooden boards, I really love using a good thick wooden board like that it's an absolutely fantastic piece of kit another good thing is a good solid six sided grater like that that's going to be about uh, £10 something like that on the website you can go to um, top stores, they sell things like this uh, you know, that's quite good and you know, hard wearing you know, they might be a lot more than that but the thing I can tell you is that I'm going to sell the, type, the types of things that I use <coughs> I'm coughing because of the vapours off the chilli one thing when you when you get over the over the um, the chilies and breathe them in when they're cooking they give a bit of a vapor off it doesn't do any harm but right so that's going to cook for a few minutes now I'm going to put I'm going to put some of the broccoli in like that and I'm going to stir some curry powder in like that to give it a bit of colour. I'm going to stir some curry powder in like that so that cooks out that was about a third of that pot uh, like that about a good tablespoon and a bit of pepper just a little pinch of pepper like that some mixed herbs like that and a little bit of salt and I'm going to stir this up, put the lid on, and I'll see you back in about five minutes. 